All right, KISS Army, welcome to the KISS FAQ Podcast. Thank you for giving us your time today and letting us into your head. I hope we don't do any damage. This is a KISS-related podcast by the board for the board. We hope that you enjoy. Welcome to episode 223 of the KISS FAQ Podcast, and as you can tell, I do not have Andrew Scambatti on this show today. Uh, sorry, Andrew. He's in the trunk. Yeah, right back there. There you go. Andrew, say hi. Um, so, Keith, you're doing the rounds because it's that time of year again, maybe that time of year that you didn't know was going to even happen with the way things ended with the Gene Simmons vault at the end of last year. Obviously, uh, to all the people who were kind of grumbling and complaining about the cancellation in Las Vegas, things happened, and no yeah. one would have wished for those things to have happened. Um, but you thought that was it. That was the end of the Well, vault, yeah, I mean, we, 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 you know, the, the deal we had with Gene went through 2018. And that was it. And we didn't know what was going to happen in 2019. We basically said, okay, we had a great year, had an amazing year. No, it didn't end the way we wanted it to end. We had this amazing event planned and all this stuff. But his mom, his mom passed. There was nothing we could do. It, you know, we all know the relationship Gene has with his mom. And so we, there was no discussion. When he told me what was going on, we had to cancel the event. And sadly, she passed, I, I want to say, probably 72 hours later. So it was something that you know that was unavoidable and we really didn't know so once that ended kind of cleaned up made sure everyone got what they wanted as far as refunds and vaults and what have you and we took a moment to pause i stepped out and went and spent time with my family and went for christmas and stuff and really got, thought i don't know what's going to happen let's come back together after the holidays and talk with gene and see what he thinks so we came back that's just someone calling we came back after the holidays it's gene saying say the right things no, we came back after the holidays and we had this original idea. We said, okay, on the days off from the KISS tour, we'll meet at a hotel. We'll do it that way. And Gene initially said, yeah, that's a great idea. And then we talked a little bit and we said, okay, we're going to start this. And we built a little bit of the site. And then Gene came to us about five, six days ago and said, here's what we're going to do. He goes, we're going to do it backstage at the KISS shows in makeup and costume about a half an hour after I walk off stage. And I'm going to sign their books and I'm going to sign a couple of items. And we'll take a picture with their phones and that'll be the vault 2019 and we you know we thought wow that photo just get you know being able to meet him in, in makeup and costume pretty cool so we thought that would be a cool opportunity and then we said okay great and so we started re we went to the house we started making the new videos we started putting it all together and today we launched on genesimmonsvault.com the new videos and the new offers the two thousand dollar offer pick the kiss show you're going to because you know where everyone's going to the shows anyway and come backstage after the show, meet Gene in full costume and makeup, get your book signed, get two other items signed, get a picture with the camera and, or your phone, and then well, and then the vault itself and the action figure and the coin will show up at your house. You don't have to drag it around. You don't have to travel. You don't have to go to an event. We're going to be in cities that we weren't in last time, you know, Tacoma, Washington, and, and, and uh, Fresno, and all these places that we weren't able to get to. Now, guess what? We're coming to your city. If you were holding off and waiting, you were saving your money, or you weren't really sure what the vault was, now you can come. We're going to be in your city, and we're limiting it to 10 per city because we don't want it to be a big event. We want it to be personal. So, Gene, you, 10 buyers and their guests, 20 people total in a room after the KISS show. That's Vault 2018. I mean, it's a really good idea, and it's one that I think's overdue, because when we were getting towards Christmas before the unfortunate passing of Gene's mother, I was like, why aren't they just doing a vault only for Christmas, that you could uh, just pay 1500 bucks or whatever right. your price point was going to be on that, and have one shipped to you? And that is now an option, isn't it? The experience That's right. That's vault. So you have the meet Gene Simmons option, which is a $2,000 meet him backstage at a kid's show. And then there are people who, yeah, who people who simply said, look, I don't want to travel. I've met Gene before. I've done a meet and greet, whether it's a base or whatever it is. I just want the vault. I want the. I want to have the music. I want to have the action figure. I want to have it. What can I do? And again, we met and we said, okay, that's the, just the vault option. So for fifteen hundred dollars, you get the vault. You get the vault. You get the book. You get the eleven CDs. You get the action figure. You get the coin and the new red two thousand nineteen vault T shirt, which. Sadly, I thought I'd have them for today, but they're still making their way back from the uh, from the printer and the mail. But so you know, yeah, you can get that sent to your house if you don't. If you're not going to one of the shows and you don't want to do it, you don't want to do the meet and greet. That's fine. You can get the vault directly to your house. 
or you can that we wanted people to have options without it being too confusing. You know, we didn't want it, we didn't we didn't want people to be like, what's this? What's that? There's two options: just the vault, meet Gene Simmons, easy to understand. Yeah, keep it nice and simple. You could have a hamburger or a cheeseburger, your choice, right. or an, a nun burger if you're not meat inclined. Um, the uh, the impossible burger they call it. The, yeah. The it, it's you know what's impossible about it it doesn't taste like meat. it never tastes like meat that's the downside um one of the things that comes to mind is these vaults themselves are not going to be personalized or signed is that right. uh, actually the case that the vaults themselves right. are not going to be signed? yeah so you know, exactly sign the book for those he's who going to sign terms. the book so it's a it's a different year it's a different offer you know the the, the real the, the people came out in 2018 they got the vault signed they got a picture with gene as regular gene 2019 you're getting the book signed you're getting a picture with gene as the demon so we think it's you know it's it's different enough that some of the old people who were around last year who went to it might buy into it again but it's also something that it's a chance to reach out to people to new fans who are like well you know i know for for instance japan we wanted to do it in japan but in japan without the makeup the the, the vibe from everyone over there was it's not what they're into if it was makeup in japan we would have probably been in Japan for a week doing various appearances. But unfortunately, it, without the makeup in Japan, it just doesn't register with them. And I think to a lot of people, to get the photo with makeup is is a cool add-on this year that they couldn't get next, last year. And you're still getting the book signed, which again, he didn't. He signed a handful of books last year, if people asked. But for the most part, he didn't really sign books last year. So, you know, it's, it's making the people last year happy because they got something cool and special. Plus, the, you know, they got the performance, they got food and drink. And it's taking it and making it a different offer this year to make the people who want to come back again happy and get something different or the people who haven't been there yet to come to get the offer for the first time and get the gene and makeup. So one of the things that kind of made it clear that this was going to happen was FYE started advertising a Gene Simmons vault uh, without experience. One of the things that I've I've wondered, and I know the answer from watching Kiss My Collectibles, but for anyone who hasn't uh, watched that podcast or Kiss Talk yet, um, was that an official relationship with Rhino to uh, provide that vault to them? Or was yeah, that so basically, you know, FYE is one of the few record chains that still exists and and still has some high profile locations. And they came to us, they came to Rhino and they said, hey, we'd like to put this in the gift shop at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's one of their locations. We'd like to put this in a couple of our key locations. We're looking to get into the higher end box set sort of thing. We're looking at, to have a few things in our stores for those high end buyers. And you know, we, we were like, okay, well this is an opportunity to get the vault in front of people who haven't seen the vault. You know, Hardcore KISS fans know everything about the vault. They know what it is and what it looks like. They know what it feels like. They came to events or they saw it at KISS Monster Mini Golf. They touched it there. This is a chance to get it somewhere else where people can go, I thought it was cardboard. What is this? Oh, my God, it's wood. It's metal. It's This is cool. I didn't know this existed. I'm a KISS fan, but I had no idea. So, yeah, the FYA deal was specifically to get positioning in many different retailers, uh, in, in many of the, excuse me, there are different retail locations, um, the higher profile ones. And, and again, it was something that Rhino had a relationship with FYE, and FYE wanted to get into the high-end business, if you will, and they, they saw this as the perfect item to start with. Going back to the you know the the core component, which is the meet the meeting Gene experience, uh, the two thousand dollar experience. Um, how does Gene feel about coming off stage? I mean, he often his makeup looks like the Joker after a show sometimes. <laughs> well, uh, but that's what doesn't they make that cool? Doesn't they make it cool that you get that you get the you're really going to get the monster, the demon coming off right after the show? He you know it was his idea. Like I said, we talked about doing it at hotels on days off. And he's, as a performer myself and other people I talk to are performers, when you finish a show, there's that high that is hard to come down from. There's that period of time, some people it's an hour, two hours, three hours, some people it's all night, where you can't come down from it. You just so, you know, you're still so revved up. And let's face it, every performer loves adulation, so it's kind of a win-win. He comes off stage, he's got this energy still, he's got this high, He's going to come into this room with people who are just going to love him and, and, and tell him how great he is. And it's an opportunity for him to, to hang out for a little bit and then go and eventually then, you know, do what he has to do and get un unmasked and head on to the next city. Now, my concern with that, and do put me right, obviously, is it's going to be late. If there are up to 10 people, if there's up to 10 people, um, does the demon have the stamina? 
Well, I mean, that's that's what well, that's why we only announced eleven dates of the entire tour that are on sale right now at GeneSimmonsVault.com. We we have to see if it works, and we have to see if it works for Gene, and we have to see if the fans are excited by it. And I think that the proof will literally be the motivation and the proof for him will be if he, if he does three or four or five of these, and he realizes that he's too spent to do them. He was, he's the first person in, 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 to turn to you and go, I can't. And, and then, you know, you will finish out the 11 and we'll, we'll have to shutter the, uh, shutter the doors. I don't think that's going to happen. I think he's going to get in there. He's going to be so jazzed by the reaction. I'm going to make the experience as smooth as possible. So when he comes in, it's not a cluster. He's going to be able to go and meet everyone and, and do it, you know, do it in a way that everyone's happy and that he's happy as well. So that when it's over, Hope, my hope is that a couple in, he's going to say, this is working. Let's do it. And and so we'll see. You know, that's why I tell people, I'm like, it's limited to 10. So get in on it while you can. And let's ho- let's keep fingers crossed. I would love this to continue through the entire tour. I would love this to, to continue past April. You know, it's going to be based on two things. If Gene is enjoying it and it's it, if he's able to do it and if there's stock left. I mean, we only made 5,000. We've sold a bunch last year. We've got some more. We're not making more than the five thousand. We've got some others. We'd like to sell them. So uh, people just love calling in the middle of things. That was Gene uh, making sure that you'd said GeneSimmonsVault.com. GeneSimmonsVault.com, which yes, uh, you got to say it every thirty-five seconds. There's actually electroshocks in my chair that if I don't say it enough, I do receive sort of a shock therapy. But yeah, so you know, we'll see. I think that because he wants to do it and because he's come up with it, much like. Look, you talk about stamina. The guy did the early vault events. We all know were eight, ten, twelve hour events, and he did them all. And he, you know, and it was only after a little while that he realized that he can't do an eight hour event. But he can do two hours of makeup, do a two hour show, and do an hour meeting ten people after the show. I think that I think that a five hour day, as opposed to a, a day where he's standing on his feet all day, I think it'll work. And he does have some days off in between where you know he's not going to be doing anything he's just going to be hanging out and resting so you know i, I think because because gene is gene and and gene likes to work i think we'll be fine when it comes to getting these things done and, and people having fun yeah have you given thought to protocol and whatnot communicating to the fans say, uh, say like the um the gene simmons bass experiences or the paul stanley guitar right. experiences that you are going to be number such and such this is how it's going to work this is uh, the expectations oh, yeah, this, for you as yeah, the customer there, I mean, there's there's a whole spiel. I mean, you were at the, the Vault Experience 2018. There's a whole, not a script, because it, but it, of what I say beforehand. And we're going to have it set up. So, yeah, people are going to know what to expect. Where, you know, Gene will, there'll be a room, a hospitality suite. The people will have their books when they arrive. We'll have them all in their own areas. And then Gene will decide either he's going to walk in and stop at each person or he's going to be in one part of the room and we're going to bring them up you know, couple by couple to meet him. That's something that Gene will, you know, decided to get a little closer to it. But I think the expectation should be this. You're meeting Gene in makeup. He's signing your vault book. He's signing two items that, so a total, you're, you're walking out of there with three autographs and you're taking, I'm, you're handing me your phone, you're handing me your camera, and I'm getting a bunch of pictures of you with him in makeup. That should be the expectation. And then when you go home, what we're trying to set it up. So actually, depending on when you order, the vault's going to come to you before the show. We're trying to get some of the places where the vault will show up before the show. So when you get home, you'll have the vault. The vault will be there waiting for you. And those are the realistic expectations. I think anything, anyone building anything above and beyond that or anything that happens above and beyond that it will, will be a bonus. But I, those are, that's what I think people should look for and expect. And that was going to be one of the things, uh, or there's actually two points on there. The secret compartment is done. The special gift was 2018 well, the, only. That is replaced with uh, the T-shirt, correct? Correct. The secret compartment is now what we like to call the memory space. So, I, 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 I you know, look, we all collect stuff, and I just did a, a massive purge of my man cave, and I have all these tubs. And I open up the tubs, and there's ticket stubs, and there's half feet, and there's all this stuff. And I'm like, what was this from? So wouldn't it be better if you go, you get the experience, you get your ticket stub, you get your wristband, your backstage pass, and you put it all in there. You, you also, your t-shirt can go in there if you're not going to wear it. And any other stuff related to the experience that night, you can put it in there. Or like we said early on, it's a vault. So you could hide stuff in there that people aren't expecting. Yeah, I mean, the, the secret item, the secret gift was a great idea. 
and we kind of ran our course with it. You know, not everybody got the exact same gift. So people were kind of pissed off about that. Like, oh, I didn't get a demon boot. Well, it was all random. It really was. And I tried to compensate if you didn't get, you know, a demon boot or a pair of sunglasses that were, I tried to make sure you got five or six other items. You know, I tried to make it, but people are going to complain. I didn't want to go into 2019 and go, here's your secret item. And then people go, it's a backstage pass and a laminate and a photo. You know, Gene was very kind in giving us access to all of his personal collection, giving up chunks of stuff, things that I thought he would never, the watches, I, you know, stuff like, I still go back to that. Things I thought he would never give away, he gave away. And there comes a point where there's, you know, you're, you're, there's nothing left to do except for get merchandise that he's got coming in, new merchandise, and people are going to complain about that. So it's, it's 2018, again, something exclusive for those people. You got your special gifts. 2019, you got your memory space. Put your tickets up. Put your, you know, when they shoot the confetti, we all grab it and put it in our pockets. Put that in there because you know you, we all do it. On the Kiss Crew, I scooped up a handful of confetti. I go home and my wife's like, what is that in your suitcase? I'm like, it's confetti from the second kit. And she just shakes her head. And I put it in a Ziploc bag and I put it out in my bin of stuff in the in the, in the man cave. So put that in the vault. Put your ticket stub. Put your backstage pass. You know, and now and you you can use it that way. So are people going to get laminates for these events like you've done previously? Or is that gone? Or are the golden tickets still being done? Or, or which, which sort of features are a carryover from 2018 to 2019? Yeah. So there won't be laminates because the we can't mess with the credentials that KISS has for their tour. So we will be assigned a specific pass and wristband or pass or wristband system at these shows. So they will get something that will only be related to the vault experience. It might just it might be a wristband that says I don't know I don't know yet. That's being worked out with Kiss Security because you know we're a guest in their house. We couldn't create our own laminate because then we they would have to put it on all of their you know when they print up backstage print up the thing for every venue security people and and they didn't want us to start making our own stuff because it gets confusing. They have their plan. They have what they're going to do for the tour. So they're just going to assign something specific to us that the people coming to the vault will get. So you'll have 20 people who will get whatever wristband or special, uh, you know, backstage pass. It'll be for that event. Um, but yeah, because that was the thing. I mean, we we just we got to be cognizant of the fact that we're we're in the kisses, we're in their world, and they're letting us in. They're being very kind, and all the people who work in the crew are fantastic. And it's just we want to make it as easy for everybody as possible. And in order to do that, we're letting them assign the credentials for the meet and greets. Perfect. And That's as far great. as the golden tickets, you know. He he signed thousands of them. We went. They went out. People complained that the name was spelled wrong, or or that the name they didn't like his signature, so they wanted another one. You know, I those have been exhausted as well. I have some unsigned golden tickets, but they say see you in 2018. Not really much of a use for the vault 2019. So we decided that no, we're gonna we're gonna make brand new T-shirts. We're gonna rely on the credentials of the Kiss. Uh, security team and then we're going to have the vault with the coin the action figure the book the cds and that's going to be you know that's what it's going to be for this year and let's talk about the photograph for a second you said that you'll happily take photographs uh for people using their own phones or and or cameras right. um there won't be a professional photographer there will okay. there be a backdrop and and how, uh, how will the I, photo kind of work yes so if if allowed yes we have the vault backdrop which i'll travel with if allowed, you know, again, we're guests in people's houses, venues have certain rules. If allowed, we will have the vault backdrop in the area where people are going to meet Gene. We, that'll be worked out almost night by night. I won't know until I get there in the afternoon if we're going to be if we're going to be allowed to think. As far as a professional photographer goes, it's after the show and we're going to a lot of markets where we don't know people. So we're opting to let people use their own devices. And what the funny thing is, we had a professional photographer for the vault, and every single person who went by, we got, got their picture, and then they go, hey, Keith, can you take a picture with my phone? So I think people want the instant gratification. They want to be able to go right from their phone after that moment, post it on Facebook, post it on Instagram. They don't want to, you know, they don't want to wait around for the download. And, you know, those photos were great, but we don't have – you know, it's just going to be me. That's the other thing on the road. It's not, you know, you went to a vault experience. There was, I had a crew. I had different people, people helping just me. So at the venues, I'm going to be there early, standing by the merch booth. People who bought are going to meet me. I'm going to get them all credentialed, get them all set up, tell them exactly where to meet me after the show. Then I'm going to go sit down in whatever free seat they give me, which is probably going to be way, way in the back. 
I'm going to watch the show like everybody else and, and be excited that I get to see one of my favorite bands for, you know, the last time. And then right after Rock and Roll All Night, because we know that's how it ends, there's going to be a meet and, a meet and area. They're all going to meet me there. I'm going to escort them back into the hospitality room. And about a half an hour, 45 minutes after that, Gene will come in. Right. Um, there is one thing that I feel is a piece of unfinished business from 2018, and only one, because like sure. Jason, like Jason and Andrew, I still rank the Vault experience as one of my very, very best Kiss experiences of my whole life. And that's not to stroke you; it remains that way even a year on. I've had my Vault anniversary, as I called it, <laughs> um, you know, from the uh, the LA from the one. Capital, sure. And there's barely a week that goes by that uh, I don't listen to something. Um, on the vault or reference the book in some way so it really is the gift that keeps on giving after the experience is gone but that one piece of unfinished business and I don't know you probably can't speak to it because it's just an unknown Tommy Thayer is the only member of KISS to have not been a guest at a he was a guest but remember he was a guest for the Las Vegas he was booked for yeah, our Las he, Vegas he was booked he was booked again yeah I mean Tommy Thayer was booked for Las Vegas he was ready to go they were going to perform together. Everything was set. But again, Gene's mom took ill and, de- and eventually passed away. Nothing we could do there. I mean, literally nothing we could do. And unfortunately, or maybe not unfortunately, but the reality is this is a kiss year. That wasn't a kiss year. Yesterday, last year was a vault year. We had full access and everyone was great. Everyone came. Everyone that was asked came. And Tommy was asked and Tommy was set to come to Vegas. We paid. We had his flight already booked. We had his hotel already paid for. It was already a done deal. It was it was it was ready to go. And then you know the inevitable or the unforeseenable happened with Gene's mom passing and getting getting you know getting ill. There's nothing we could do. And unfortunately, the the 2019. There's not a lot of room for that. You know, there's no there's no songs and stories. That was a 2018 thing. You know, Tommy's got his own deals going on during the Kiss show to meet him and get a guitar. You know. Who knows? As the as things roll on, you know, I know Eric loves to come in and make fun of Gene. So who knows? Maybe as as things start to develop, maybe the guys pop in. I, I don't know. I can't. I can't. You know, I can't predict the future. I certainly would be great. It'd be great if if Tommy did. But you know, I got to give him full credit because he was booked and ready to go. And he was he was you know he was just as disappointed as any fan or as me that day when we found out 24 hours ahead of time. That it was not going to happen. He was just as disappointed because he was really looking forward to seeing the fans, meeting the fans, and performing. You know, everyone was met. Time. You know, he's a great guy, and it was just nothing we could do. You know, and and so there's and there's no real reason or, or there's no real way real way to make up for it. You know what I mean? It's a different experience, and it's a kiss experience. And I think he, Tommy would be selling his guitars and so forth on the road. So everyone after the show kind of has their own life and their own thing. But they're certainly invited. And, and they're invited to come and pop their heads in the vault experiences if they ever wanted to. That goes for Paul. That goes for Eric. That goes for Tommy. Uh, you know, and if any of the the alumni uh, end up at Kiss shows doing whatever they're doing, they're also certainly you know we had Ace at three, and it was always a pleasure to have him around. Same deal. Always welcome. And that was all I was angling to have said, but, you know, sure. because I'm sure if Tommy poked his head around the door, Gene wouldn't close the door. Gene no. would be, come on in, come on in, come on in. And Eric, Eric's just going to come on in and start talking anyways, isn't it? Yeah, exa- so. Exactly. There's no way around, which is great. I mean, that's that's one of the best things about, like, the camaraderie among the guys is is that, you know, Gene, they generally like hanging out. And, and Eric loves making fun of Gene and poking, and Gene, Gene takes it. You know, he doesn't take it for many people. But Eric, he takes it from. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. the The invitation is there. If they wanted to, they certainly can. Um, you know, if if Vegas had happened, Vegas was going to be something. If it had happened the way we wanted it to be, you know, not you. You would have had Tommy. Not only that, but there was some other stuff that was planned. Some other surprise guests that were coming to just hang out. And uh, and and we were. I I, I can't even. I got to move forward. You know, because it still hurts to think, but. It, it, unavoidable and Tommy Thayer was well, w- you know, well willing to be there. Let's see, let's see what happens as these, you know, as these develop into Vault 2019. Gene Simmons Vault. 
the GeneSimmonsVault.com. Okay, so that's the three options available for 2019. You got the 2000 meet and greet, get a picture with Gene in makeup after a kiss show, and he will hand you your vault book containing the vault CDs and sign it for you. He'll sign uh, two items for you, no musical instruments, and you can have one guest with you. Uh, that, that's all correct for the $2,000 item? That is correct for the 2000 and for the for the geneless vault, other than the music, the fifteen hundred non-experienced vault, people can just have a vault. They can buy it. They can have it shipped directly to them, and it will come. It comes with the T-shirt as well, right? Same yep. contents yep. as all yep. the other vaults that everyone has had, other than uh, you know now you get a, a red T-shirt instead of the gray T-shirt, which we had in twenty eighteen. And if you're one of those people who want to shop in person in FYE, can they go into any FYE and ask about the Gene Simmons vault? Has they, it been they can, yeah. It will be um, it will be available in their general catalog. So, like anything else, you know, they can go in and special order it. Um, they can ask for it, and then and they and they should be able to fulfill it uh, through their warehouse, and they can get it shipped to the store there. And yeah, and they can do it that way. Perfect. Well, you know, I hope you have a smoother year, Keith, with these experiences, <laughs> with 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 less to deal with of uh, the secret <laughs> compartments in particular, or sound men and the songs and stories. I'm sure you never want to hear another song and story about the vault. Uh, uh, after you've heard a couple. I've heard a couple. You know, it, look, 2018 was a learning experience, and and you know, I there were sure there were bumps in the road. But that road took me to places I've never, ever dreamed of going. That road took me to Spain and Amsterdam and Sweden and all these amazing places and all these amazing people that, you know, for every every one person who was an asshole, there were another four to five hundred people I met who were phenomenal. So, you know, it, 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 this this should be smoother. It should. But but, you know, you never know. And I'm up for it. And well, let's let's just see. I mean, I, I hope people come out and enjoy it the way they did last year and that they you know they, they get to take something away and, and a memory and then and when it's all said and done they're like i'm glad i did that you know i appreciate you saying what you said i appreciate everyone who's had it saying what they said you know we we worked really hard to make these special i'm continuing to work hard to make this year special and i want everyone to walk away with it with from a vault experience and getting the, whether they get it directly or they go to the actual event i want them to walk away going this is special this is really cool yeah. that's my that's my mission and my light still works, and my door still opens. See? So you know, I'm. And if your light stops stops working, you just take the battery door off and put two brand new AA batteries in. That's that's a great mystery that a lot of people didn't realize. They're like, my light stopped working. I go, did you change the batteries? And they go, they're batteries. Yeah. So it's not know, rocket yeah. science, is it? You know, light. We've had it for a few years, uh, but I, I want to cause you some therapy here. You've got, okay. you've got what eleven volt experiences coming up in the next yes. month. Now smile. <laughs> yes, but I've also got 11 KISS shows that I get to see in the next month, which that's reason to smile. Uh, you know, 10-year-old 1977 me didn't get to see KISS when he was a kid. I didn't get to see KISS until the first time until I was uh, out of high school into college, and that was a non-makeup thing. And I didn't really get to see KISS until 96 for the reunion tour because uh, my parents were super Catholic. So the fact that I get to see 11 shows... I'm going to be working, but I'm still going to see 11 KISS shows. You're going to have pretty, fun. You're going pretty to have all a right. lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, and with, and with some, ama you know, some amazing people, some, some, it's going to, it's, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be great. And, and hopefully it will be 22 and 33 KISS shows and 44 KISS shows. Hopefully as things go, again, if Gene, if it's working for Gene and it's working for the fans, we'll keep rolling until every single vault is gone and then I'll take a nap. Yeah then you'll be ready for one for sure. Well, you know, I'm going to be there in Vancouver. I can't wait to hear from people how these vault experiences go. I hope they have as much fun with the new format that we had with the old format. And it changed. You know, obviously I did LA and then I did Vegas again later and it had morphed. It was always a, a work in progress. It was always something that evolved. It was always something where you were kind of reacting to whatever was going on in order to make it great. So I don't doubt that people are going to have a great time. I don't have any doubt that you're going to make it the very 
very best that it possibly can be for them. So I wish you and Gene the best of luck with the vault in 2019. And for anyone who is on the fence, get off the fence because it is something that you are going to love. It is something that you're going to savor. You're going to keep enjoying it. You're going to love that music. And as I told Gene, you've listened to quite a bit of it because it's been in bootleg circles. You get to pay Gene for the privilege now of listening to it. So you'll be completely legal listening to that music, which is and, a very and- nice feeling. <laughs> Isn't it nice to be legal? That's 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 the takeaway with all this. It's nice to be legal and GeneSimmonsVault.com. All right. Well, Keith Valcourt, Global Product Project Manager for the Gene Simmons Vault Experience with Rhino. Thank you very much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on the road. Absolutely. We'll see you in, we'll see you in Vancouver, and thank you guys for all – I mean, obviously, for all the support. Okay. GeneSimmonsVault.com. Thank you for spending time listening to the KISS FAQ podcast today. All sales are final. There are no refunds. If you'd like, look us up on Facebook or come over to the KISS FAQ message board and discuss the topic we've broadcast today. Don't forget to rate us on iTunes, Spreaker, or wherever you've listened to the show. We hope you'll join us again.